Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Scorpio, um, we're going to be going into the shells right after we're going to do the tarot and then get an oracle card from Spirit to see what their message is for you. For those of you guys that have contacted me or trying to schedule appointments for consultations, we are now booking for April and um, uh, I went completely blank, you guys. <laughs> April and May. I am so sorry. <laughs> it's been a long day. Okay. Um, so yeah. If you guys are trying to contact me, please be patient. Uh, we're still trying to catch up to the past two months in emails and DMs and Snapchats and TikToks. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, uh, TikTok, on TikTok, we are updating every single day, uh, everyday readings. So uh, you guys can go on there, try to get some clarity, insight on what's going on with your everyday life then definitely follow me on their Instagram. It is, I'm more active there, so I'm constantly posting um, not only works that we're doing for clients, but also um, witchy tips, etc. You guys, I'm so sorry. Like, I feel completely, like, my mind just went blank right now. Um, let me gather my thoughts for a bit. Okay. Let's get into your reading, Scorpio. All right, spirits, what are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2021. Okay, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with you guys. I see you guys... I see you guys um, having the need for expansion, having the need to do certain things a different way, and you're definitely resisting this. You're not wanting change, or you're not wanting um, to get out of your comfort zone. And what they're telling me here, uh, Scorpio, is that if you want change in your life, you have to go about it a different way. Now, this could be in regards to your finances. This could be in regards to your relationships. This could be in regards to uh, career, love, family. But there is like a reoccurring situation that you're going to be experiencing or you have already been experiencing. It's almost like, I don't want to say your karma to deal with. I feel that it has more to do with karmic lessons from those that you came into this life um, as family members. So it could be like dealing with family members that are very difficult or that are pushing your buttons or that... It's like you're taking responsibility that is not of your own and other people around you need to wake the fuck up is what they're telling me. So what they're saying here is that you need to stop overdoing Scorpio. Now, this could be in regards to family dynamics. If you have a family dynamic that is extremely toxic and please don't look at me and be like, Jessica, my life and my family are perfect. No, they're fucking not. <laughs> we all have those toxic family members. Do not give me that, okay? I don't know why I just said that. I just felt like... <laughs> so what they're telling me here is if you've been dealing with a situation where family members are extremely toxic or have a tendency of expecting too much from you, you need to drop the fucking plate and stop doing is what they're telling me. Now, this could be in regards to relationships as well. If you're getting to the point of feeling like you're the one that's carrying the relationship, like you're the one that is doing, going above and beyond, you're the one that is uh, trying to keep the romance alive, you're the one that is constantly busting your ass at work, you're the one that is basically with the structure and your partner's like over here in la-la land or scattered energy, you need to shake that up, Scorpio. 
because they're telling you you don't want to be dealing with people that become very ungrateful or with people that become like they're taking you for granted. You need to put your foot down. You need to be strong in your stance in regards to your worthiness and what you deserve. And that's a message that's coming through very strong. Now, keep in mind from the majority of you guys, what Spirit is telling me right now is that when it comes to love and romance, you need to understand that the partnerships you choose or the person that you choose to be with or give your attention and energy to is a constant or will be a constant reflection of you. So date accordingly, commit accordingly, do not keep handing or doing or making it easier for the partner. They need to step up and do their part. Do you see what I'm saying? And this could be, uh, like I said, this could be in regards to love. This could be in regards to your relationship. If you're married, this could be that someone in this marriage is not putting their effort. And later on, they're going to be sitting there being like, oh, my God, why did she cheat? Oh, my God, why did he cheat? Um, or, oh, my God, why is my marriage falling apart? Well, maybe because you weren't stepping up. Maybe because you weren't doing what you were supposed to do. In a relationship and in a partnership, it takes two people, not one. I don't know why that message <laughs> was hella strong and it may not connect with everyone and that's okay. Take what resonates. Do not try to force readings, you guys. Okay, let's see what spirit has for you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2021. Spirit gets what is the message for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month March 2021. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the hanged man. You need to see things from a different perspective, Scorpio. It's time to shake things up. It's time to get out of your comfort zone. It's time to really spice your life up. I feel for a lot of you guys, it could be almost the feeling of like everyday routine, like every day is the same thing. And what they're telling you is there, yeah, there is a need for you. Uh, there's a need for change and change is in the air, but you're not going to be able to see it in the material sense or in the out world until you get off of this tree, until you get off of, you know, hoping and start taking action. Your next card, the lovers. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where you're very much in your head. You don't know exactly what's going on. There's like you've hit a stale meet type of situation like you guys are at standstill um for some of you guys it could be doubting um or even questioning or wondering uh the lover's card can also represent crossroads so for some of you guys feeling like you have to make a choice your next card here is the queen of pentacles it could have to do with uh the fact that uh like they said when doing the shells someone in this partnership or in this connection is not putting the effort or they're just taking, taking, taking. The Queen of Pentacles uh, in, in reverse, and I'm feeling like it's coming up in the reverse position, could represent an individual um, that is very selfish. Could represent an individual that uh, just thinks about me and, you know, what I want um, without really understanding that there is a need to, uh, you know, take your partner's consideration as well or take their opinion um, and understand it as well. It's almost like for some of you guys, your partner will be commenting or giving you some type of advice and you dismiss it. Um, and what they're telling you here is you need to pay attention to that because if you can see here with the Queen of Pentacles right here at the top, we have like, um, like rose buds. And they're standing out very strongly to me. So this could represent temptation. So again, you know, if you feel like there's been lack of physical contact in your relationship, you need to step it up, boy, or you need to step it up, girl, because your partner will be tempted. And later on, you know, don't look back and say, well, I don't know what happened. You get what I'm saying? Okay. The next card here is we have the moon card. So the moon card is, again, secrets, things being hidden, someone not being completely honest or transparent, 
um, could represent doubt, fogginess, not knowing uh, what to do in regards to the situation. Um, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Gemini, Taurus energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, Pisces type of energy as well. Uh, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship and have a tendency of being secretive, be careful. Uh, because I do see things coming out in the open. Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands. I feel that there's things that have been kept in the hidden or things that are not completely transparent that is happening or unfolding in the household. This could be uh, this could be hearing rumors. This could be people just being spiteful, uh, doing things out of like to get back at you, to hurt you, to hurt your emotions, uh, that type of energy. And there is a need for grounding here. So again, um, the best advice I can give you, Scorpio, for this month is if you are dealing with the situation where you feel like your relationship could need a bit of reigniting the passion, I would definitely do what you have to do to make that or to get that going. Um, and the reason I say that is because I'm hearing very strongly that uh, you don't want to be crying over spilled milk that you could have prevented. Um, now, another thing that's coming through is uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you start hearing rumors, you start hearing about a, uh, you know, specific individual or person that is aware uh, that your partner is in a relationship with you or whatnot that may be interested in them. It's kind of like, uh, you know, the flies that just don't go away and they're kind of annoying. That's what I'm hearing, like trying to smack it, like, but they just keep surrounding or going around the partner, trying to get the partner's attention. For some, it could be in the workplace. So uh, work on your communication, Scorpio, with your partner, for those of you guys that are partnered. Now, for those of you guys that are not, I do see love around you in regards to your workplace. So there may be a person that's if you're not already dealing with someone, there could be a person that comes into the workplace um, that is has their eye on you or will have their eye on you. But this person is secretive and they're not completely honest and they may be in a committed relationship. So just be careful not to jump into a relationship or get emotionally invested in someone that is not emotionally available. Okay? Because temptation is very highlighted here. All right. Let's see what your direct message is. Spirits, what is the direct message for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? for the month of March, 2021. Okay, thank you. You have the number three. This is about desires. This is about this is about being on a journey and understanding the desires within you. And being honest and transparent about your desires. Um, keep in mind this, the, the roles could be reversed. It is a general reading. If you feel that it's your partner, the one that's lacking the physical connection, the one that's not really pursuing you, um, reflect on this. Because if you're not being emotionally fulfilled, if you're not being fulfilled, period, there's always going to be a feeling of loneliness. There's always going to be feel like a feeling of like you're in a relationship, but you're alone in the relationship or like you're the one that's carrying the relationship. Even if you're a female, it could almost feel like you're always the man because you're the one that's taking the responsibility or stepping up or working or doing what, you know, what the other person is not doing, what your partner's lacking or not stepping up and doing. And what they're telling you here is that it's very important to figure out if you're genuinely happy. Because it talks about journeying. It also speaks about freedom. 
and having the courage to go towards your freedom or having the courage to pursue what you truly desire. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you guys some type of clarity. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, definitely let me know. Comment below, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.